Hello and welcome to this pre-pre-release recap for the Theros Beyond Death pre-pre-release brought to you by Wizards of the Coast. Uh, I'm Graham from Loading Ready Run and I'm joined by our wonderful guests who we with, with whom we all played the Theros Beyond Death sealed pre-pre-release yesterday. We have Krim, a.k.a. the Asian Avenger. Hello. We, <laughs> we have Ailey, a.k.a. Alias V. Melissa DeTora, who does not have an a.k.a. but works <laughs> at Wizards R&D. He's and important, though. Nadine, a.k.a. Miss a cosplay, <laughs> and uh, we all had a terrific time yesterday. And I, I want to actually just fire it down to down to Krim to start off with to talk about the, <laughs> the, the that the to talk about that thing you did. The, the thing, yeah. To yeah. Cameron, was it? Who were you playing against? I was playing against Cameron. Yeah. <laughs> when I opened my pool, uh -huh. I as I said, I was gonna force Demir probably one way or the other, and <laughs> I actually had a. I, I was like. Looking at my win cons, and I, I was like, what is the memeiest way I could win? I got lucky. I opened the Thassa's Oracle. And I just feel like that's perfect because in Limited, you play like only 40 cards in the deck usually. So, I, and I was, I had that one spell. I, I don't remember the name. It's like a two mana mill. Sweet Oblivion. There mm. it is. I had Sweet Oblivion, and I was able to just, I, <laughs> I can't believe I pulled it up. I just milled myself, and I just kept throwing away cards. <laughs> And then I got to win through Thassa's Oracle to Cam's because confusion. yeah, Cam's, con Cam's face was my, my probably my favorite thing uh, through all of that because he was like because oh, I, I remember it because completely not <laughs> what, uh, what's happening yeah. to him for a guy and and like and Cam was reading the card and it is a wall of text on Thassa's Until the Oracle very end, right he had no idea what was happening <laughs> Cam, Cam did not read the last line of text on the card right. and Adam was like you should read that again because <laughs> it's, it's it's a lot of text to basically say if you try to mill and you don't have enough to mill yeah. you win. Well, it's yep. a scry. Or, like yeah. the it's first scry. part I think I, I don't remember the first half. The only thing I cared about was mm -hmm. that ha yeah. last half where it's like if my devotion is greater than the number of cards in my deck, I win the game. Yeah. And that's all I needed. I needed some kind of <laughs> auto win way to like just do it. And oh, it I was... see. Sorry, yes. Now <laughs> yeah. 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 Ah, see? Yes. see? Yeah, that's There's gonna so catch so much text people. on this card. I feel like there's a bunch of cards in this set. Uh, that you have to like fully read before yeah. you get to the sweet part. Another one is said that uh, two colorless, one green, one where you look at top four. You can uh, put one into your hand and the rest into your graveyard. And I Ooh. I didn't finish the the second half when I first read it and was like that's like yeah that's like a card I guess. And then I read it again. It's like wait I could pitch the rest into the graveyard. That's great. I mean that's <laughs> just great for for that's so good for escape. Yeah. 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 Actually speaking of cards with lots of text. Melissa, we were talking yesterday. I was saying how much I loved the templating on escape cards mm -hmm. when, for example, uh, I guess, uh, like the the, uh, the the Hound, the 3-1 the Underworld. Escapes with underworld a plus yeah. counter. Yeah, right? the templating of this yeah. escapes with, yeah, Underworld yep. Rage Hound. Uh, it escapes with a plus one plus one counter Good rather than <laughs> if you cast this for its escape cost then it enters the battlefield mm -hmm. with just it's so simple to be like it escapes with a counter and oh, you were saying that that, that was also super important for yeah, that was space like intentional because uh, this set is actually a very wordy set mm -hmm. um, in fact uh, mm -hmm. one of our articles that was on our website last week uh, written by the set lead Mark Gottlieb um, he talked about how wordy the set was and how we had to trim down on rares. Also, fun fact, Thassa's Oracle, wordiest card in the set. Okay. So we had to look for ways oh to trim down on words just like to make the set just slightly less complex. And then like as you said with Escape, like it's such long reminder text. So it would have had to have the reminder text and then it would have had to said, also when this comes back into play from the graveyard, put a plus one plus one counter on it. And it was just so many words and then Someone came up with, well, what about escapes with a counter? Can we do that? And turns out the rules yeah. manager said, yes, we can do that. And that saves us a lot of words and hassle. So, it's and just, it's pretty easy to understand. It's so clean and intuitive. It's just like, oh, yeah, I get it. It, it mm -hmm. grabs yeah. the counter and runs out of the underworld. It just like, sounds so good. Guys, yeah. check it out. I'm just gonna look what I came back with. Gigantic D6, just yeah. to, like in its arms running yeah. out of the escapes underworld. With some hell spoils. Yeah. I, I really like the escape mechanic. I'm kind of sad yeah. my deck didn't have a bit more of it in it because I was watching you guys, especially yeah. like that card when you you just filling up your graveyard to yeah. pay for exile stuff for yourself. So it's and like, it oh, cool. just kept re like just kept filling yeah. my yard. It just keeps paying for itself. Be, yeah, I that just, absolutely. I'm sorry. I just love having these uh, late game mana sinks. Like I also loved Embalm a lot in in uh, Amicat because mm -hmm. yeah, you could we're just able to 
make use again of your cards uh, if you're flooding, which I'm very good at. I'm good at flooding. <laughs> Aren't the, we all? <laughs> the, the repeatability of escape is, is what yeah. caught me off guard, and yeah. I think is... Because some of the escape costs seem kind of expensive, mm. but the... It, it's get there. worth it, because yeah. when, when uh, Melissa was dismantling the things I was trying to escape <laughs> with the... <laughs> Uh, some, the chilling yeah, something? Yeah, I think it's called Cling to Darkness cling to or darkness. something. Cling to Darkness, yeah. Because yeah. it's... I'm just very used to, you know... Cling a, to Dust. A card with oh, Flashback, yeah, yeah. for example, and it's like, I cast it once, then I get to cast it again from my graveyard, and then it goes away. And this was, right. I cast it once, yeah. and I cast it again from my graveyard, and then I cast it again from my graveyard, mm -hmm. and then I cast it, and I'm like, yeah. wait, wait, yeah. it just keeps happening. It's yep. so funny, when I first read the mechanic, uh, when the uh, preview started coming out, I didn't even think about the possibility that you could do it again and again. Yeah, again. it's just like, access to the card yeah. all the time. All right, yeah. I was like, all right, this, this is probably going to be gone after. So, I didn't even think about it. It's like, wait, like, I can do it again. In, in Limited, it, it seems like Escape might not... It's, I don't know if it's going to be as impactful as like mm -hmm. in Constructed decks. Now I'm thinking, okay, all, all the decks that want to surveil and get things in their bin, mm -hmm. like adding Escape to that too is going to be mm -hmm. quite interesting to see if anything evolves out of that or you know breaks the meta. I mean, one That's of those cool. things that I'm really excited to try, at least in Constructed, is with Lazav, the Multifarious. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, no. I mean, with the Escape... That is a Const combo oh, with the yeah. Titans. Yes. Oh. I love that. And so, uh, like, yeah, like... Escape just has been a wonderful mechanic, mm -hmm. and like yeah, like I I love that I I will always have something to do. Yeah, and I think that's it's like one you have two de you have two libraries now. Yeah, right? exactly. Which is awesome. Wait, so and it only costs you two mana to turn Lazav into Kroxa? Yep. Yep. So here's what you do: <laughs> okay. you play Lazav, surveil one. Right. Guess what? You surveilled Kroxa. Uh -huh. You put it in your graveyard. You and just then, make Hogan again. And then on turn, <laughs> on turn you pay two mana, make it into a Croxa attack, get, get the Croxa trigger. Oh yeah. my goodness. Very good, I hear. Very good. Maybe you can set it up with like a temples or something. Yeah. Look at the top card of your deck. Maybe it's Croxa. Wow. Great. Why and stop at Croxa? Why not just and, make it right. that impervious Great Worm? You know. I can finally <laughs> say, I can, I'm going to ask, I ask this every set though, is... Is this the time? Grixis will finally be here. This is it. You gotta make this it. This might actually be it. I don't know. Maybe not. But <laughs> make the... Grixis great again. Yeah, I, I want... for our Lord and Savior Nicol Bolas. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like I, I've, I've. This is playing the limited format. It was a blast it's because of I can't escape. wait to play more. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm, so I'm not a huge more. limited player myself. I'm Maybe you should be. But I mean, the, well, the way this set, and like, you know, yeah. there, there are right. formats where I have a blast uh, playing limited, and so far this has been yeah. one of them. I, I really do like Theros Beyond Death. One limited. thing I want to do is every time I draft, I want to try and play the different color pairs because they all seem to do something, you know, different and mm. unique. And like, yeah, yeah like the, the green that I played yesterday, I had Renata. That card was that card bonkers. Is bonkers. I, had, I got three of them. I, I wanted to play all three, but then I was like, no, three, four That's drops is a little too expensive. Many Renat too many legendary Renatas. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I mean, would have just played three. Yeah. Yeah. It's that powerful. Yeah, I feel like you, you want one on turn four every time. I yeah. at a point in the match. Like the match <sighs> I watched so against like, mm -hmm. you and Adam, like I just felt like you played like a hundred Renatas. <laughs> like, <I was> like, <laughs> yeah. When is it? Oh my gosh! Yeah, wow. I had such a cool pool. Oh man, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm so excited to play this. And you had Ashi. It was yeah. great to watch <laughs> you open that pool. Like, like, can it get good. better? Oh yeah, can it get better. Yeah. <laughs> and it was great that that's what you opened on camera. Too. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, all right, let's see what we get. It could be anything. Oh, and there just happens yeah. to be. And that was the last one. That was the Another last one. pack Another in the bunch that we had. Everyone took yeah. their packs, and then I was left with this one. I was like, okay, please be good. I was also pretty like quite. Stand, like when I was opening my pool, I've never opened so many on color rares. You had so much stuff. Yeah, you had when like I, you I just, just Lesney up the wasn't. The last booster, the <laughs> last booster had a black rare in it, and every everything else was just like nicely on color. I was like, mm. what, what is huh, happening? Darn. I've never done it. Even the the <laughs> One of the six promo rare was on color. In round <laughs> in round eight versus Kathleen, What's staged, I promise. you played. <laughs> You played seven spells the whole game, and five of them were rare. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't even realize. At one How point, you noted you? you notified me of the fact. I was like, oh yeah. I think at one point, right? You, you only had rares if you didn't count the lands on board. Yeah, like the early the, few you turns. had the the lion. Yeah, that was the yeah, greatest curve ever. Lion. And yeah. so cool. 
thingy mabob. Oh, Enchantress. Yeah. That card is insane. And that was so cool, like because then because then I remember Kathleen made you sack a creature, so you sack the lion. <laughs> the lion comes, comes back, back and, onto yeah, the champion. triggering that and then back triggering. Off. I was like, even trigger. There's yeah, so much yeah. value. Right yeah. now. I'm actually sure. keen to make a constellation deck. I like the look of this. There's a few cards in the, the previous kitty, sets I, I care like about kitty. enchantments, so yeah, I think that's gonna be pretty sweet. The kitty's so much value. Oh yeah, we like kitty right when it's alive and it even helps you once it leaves. Yes. I know that in house here, Serge is very excited about the the improvements that his uh, Enchantress Highlander deck yeah. has, has received from oh, this awesome. set. He was like, I could do this, I could do this, I could do this. All the things I can do. Yeah. 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 I love Enchantress myself. It was like <laughs> one of the decks that was my first decks. I, uh, like I played it in Standard back during Urza Saga block. Yeah, I've been playing forever. <laughs> I played it in Extended. I played it in Legacy. It was not really good there. And I played it in Commander. So when I saw that Constellation was coming back in Theros, I was like, all right, let's try and make this work in Standard. Sweet. So we designed a bunch of cards to hopefully enable the deck. Nice. Like the 2-4 uh, flyer that when you have Constellation, you make a Pegasus token. That yeah, sweet. that is insane. That like Pegasus have lifelink? A Pegasus right? token? Yeah. I, I didn't you even see this card. Oh, yeah, yeah a, it great. makes 2-2 two, two Pegasus tokens. Yeah. Is this, What's what? the name of this card? Someone um, knows out there. It was I'm in sure. my pool. It's a white I don't remember rare. it. Yeah, it's a white it. rare four mana, mm -hmm. two four creature constellation. Mostly, make a two two Pegasus token. You yeah. mostly well, I was gonna say you mostly know these from playtest names, but also this was like a year and a half ago, two years um, ago. It was like nine months to a year ago yeah. Uh, yeah. for. There we go. Arcana of Suns. Yeah, it was totally not called this when I was playing with it, but <laughs> uh, yeah, that, it's very hard that for me to remember would names. That card so busted in my deck. I want to play with this. Because it has lifelink too. And try and make mono white something with just these pigeons in the air. Everything that flies is a Here pigeon. Here we are. Yeah. For, just for EDH sh -sh -sh. players and whatnot, I, I forgot there's an enchantment uh, that makes it so all your things are all other types. So you just keep doing this over oh, and yeah. over. Then yeah. I and believe then you just have old Pegasus. Because everything will be an enchantment. Oh. <laughs> and then oh. you just make a T2 you just go so on you for just it. Make... You can make like all like an online what? client explode if you oh, want. <laughs> just keep doing that over and over and over and over. Is it Surely enchanted to... evening or something? I think so. It's like a I think it's an that sounds like Azorius something enchantment or yeah. it, it's not. There's arcane specific. adaptation too that you could try. Oh, well, to an historic at arena. some point you have to interrupt that that yeah, cycle exactly. though, don't you? Oh yeah. enchanted evening. Don't yeah. play there it is, there it is, yeah, yeah. All Shadow Moor. Don't do this. It just draws the game. You don't want to do this. Okay. But do they enter the battlefield? It's yes. like pinging polyraptor. Yes, they do. Don't do that. Yeah, yeah, it's like pinging polyraptor. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Make all the birds. Yeah, and there's another card, too, that I really liked. A green, again. I think I like green in this set. Um, the spider that makes more spiders. Oh, yep. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Spider. yeah. Also an enchantment. Yeah, I made played sure in your enchanter stack. What's, what's her name? I wanted, I wanted to say a Traxa, and it's not a Traxa. Yeah, uh, I don't know the name. Big spooter that makes it's more a spooters. It's a four-mana spider. Yeah. When yeah. they it's played a... instant or sorcery. Yeah. Mini you get a one-two spider. Oh, oh, Arasta, of Arasta, the you were close. Web. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's that's just, a very I just cool miss card. Ishkana, too. So I appreciate that. The, <laughs> also, this is a terrifying thought. The flavor text: Her webs spun from her own hair, reach from Nyx to the mortal world and even into the underworld. That's gross. Terrifying. Yeah, that is pretty gross. It's yeah. like anytime you run spidey. into a spider web, you know, that's part oh, of her. It's oh. like ugh. very solid <laughs> hair. <laughs> She can feel it. <laughs> well, hey, apart, <laughs> apart from, uh, just because you mentioned that the cards weren't named that, apart from Goat Guy, <laughs> which was the the discordant piper, is that yeah. what it's actually yeah, called now? Yeah, I think so. Do you, do you recall any other playtest names offhand? Um, funny ones, I'm not sure off the top of my head. Doesn't have to be funny, um, I just like playtest names. We had a card that was called, I believe, something like Obsidian Giant, which ended up being the 2RR34 Giant that has when it's targeted or when it attacks. You can either dome them for three or look at the top two cards of your library and play one of them. What, a, what an interesting yeah, that sounds choice. Rad. I don't think I saw that one either. Mm -mm. Huh. There's, there's so much it was we didn't a rare, see. It's yeah. a rare. I think yeah. it's called Tectonic Giant or yeah. something mm -hmm. like that. But that was one of the cards that I designed when I was on the set team. It's <laughs> one of my favorite cards. Nice. Oh, yeah. It is Tectonic Ooh. Giant. Nice. All right. Cool. That's yeah. cool. Dang. Yeah. I love the elemental. Yeah. What a what a fascinating card. Yeah, mostly like the goal here was uh, very good, yeah. for red mid range decks to just have more things to do and just more options because mm. red players don't usually get a lot of options. It's mostly just like I play my stuff and turn them sideways. Yeah, that looks but so I wanted this card to just give the red player more choices. Cool. And elemental. So oh yeah, that yeah, means yeah. Risen Reef uh, as a new friend. Elemental. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Risen Reef totally for the win. Because Risen Reef was really lacking in friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, yeah, Risen Reef needed Absolutely. more friends. Absolutely. Another value elemental here. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. <laughs> it doesn't die to Big Chandra. It's yeah. cool. 
<laughs> you were, kill it anyway. Uh, <laughs> Three, four, you were also five. saying because Ailey mentioned the color combos, the two color pairs. You were uh, saying that you were talking about looking looking at those combos in Theros. What uh, what do you what did you want to share about that? Oh yeah, sure. We can talk about all the color pairs. Please. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So maybe this will help you guys at your upcoming pre-release. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So we have 10 color pairs as always, so I guess we'll start with the Constellation color pairs. So Constellation is primarily in Bant colors. Uh, so in blue-white we have Flyers and Auras, so just like putting positive Auras on your Flyers and attacking with them. Uh, Green-white we have, it's another Aura deck, it's like more focused on Auras, it's about like finding Auras with stuff like Helios Pilgrim and putting Auras on your stuff. And then blue-green is more of a constellation deck without auras, so you just have big beefy stuff and flyers and getting value off of your constellation triggers. All right, and then we have the escape color pairs, which is primarily in Sultai. So we have blue-black, which is a controlling mill yourself a ton and escape all your stuff <laughs> deck, which is similar to what Krim was doing with, <laughs> uh, with the Thassa's Oracle. And, and stopping me from doing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. That was probably the worst You just kept making you. my graveyard go away. <laughs> I just... The mechanic escape just seemed so good and limited. I was like, I'm just going to hate out the graveyard as much as I can and hope that it gets me there. I mean, it you did. Do it worked really well. <laughs> so then in black-green, that's more of a mid-range escape deck. Yeah. All right. Um, all right. And then... Other stuff, we have Red Black Sacrifice, so you mostly just want to sacrifice your stuff to get value, uh, like payoffs there are the Act of Treason variant, which I think is called, what is it called again? Uh, Portent, Portent of Betrayal. Of betrayal. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's your biggest payoff for that, just like steal their best oh, things nice. and then sacrifice it to something. Nice. Um, is there any sort of aristocrat kind of card? Well, there's a rare, it's called Woe Strider. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. of whoa, Strider. Whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa. They brought their own lunch. <laughs> yeah, there's, a, like, there's was, weaker sacrifice effects at lower rarities, of course, but this is like the major payoff for Constructed. Because mm -hmm. it's... Right. This is, so fun fact, this is the first free sack outlet that's yeah. been in Standard in a while. Yeah, the last really? one was Nantuko Actually, Husk, yeah. right? Oh. Yeah. In a while. Like, been... like, Nantuko Husk was, I think, the last one. That's a really good point. Mm. Yeah. That was yeah. my rare. That was the biggest yeah, thing for cool. me when I saw this card get spoiled. I was like, wow, that's a free sack effect. Huh. Yep. Yep. Comes back on top of that. And like, yeah, like the this it's just great. I think this goat I think that Woe Strider wants to hang out with Judith. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And the cats. And the cats or and the cool celebrant. celebrant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause you uh, again, you got me with the the lamp pad that does the yeah. drain. Yes, the draining that, that is cool too. Sweet. Mm -hmm. the one yeah. Is that a do you tap for that one or is No, you just pay it's one. It's, one. Okay. it's one mana. So and you can't do it forever. Woe yeah, Strider, yeah. you can do it forever. Yeah, for as you long can as eat you your have entire battlefield. Mm -hmm. So that's just like a, a huge deal in standard because like we've never had this we have not had this in a long time. And yeah. if uh you guys at home have been playing during Nantuko Husk. That card did actually dominate a standard format mm -hmm. in uh, Sacrifice All Your Stuff and Reanimate with rally them the with ancestors. Rally the Ancestors, like that oh, kind of yeah. thing. Yep. So I do expect Sorry, I this card us. to... Oh, you're right. We totally sidetracked. I'm explaining the color pairs, and now we're moving on to Constructed. Okay. Sli no, I want to talk about Constructed right. because I don't know anything about it. Okay, <laughs> we, we should way. probably get back, sure. <laughs> back to color pairs. Fruit. Let's I think we've agreed. Adam and I have agreed that yep. Lampad is pretty much ginger brute, by the way. It's basically ginger brute. Talk about ginger brute. Oh ginger brute without haste, I guess. Right, red, all black, right, sacrifice. So we, just, we, all right, so we talked about black, red. Um, so then there's blue, red, oh. which is uh, like a pretty different It's uh, than what, what the rest of Theros is doing. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, play spells on your opponent's turn. So right, because I had the arena arena trickster, yeah, oh, trickster. arena oh, athlete sweet. trickster. Trickster, I think it's trickster. Yeah, and yeah. it's just it's a it's a three three for four. But whenever you cast your first spell during an opponent's turn, it gets a counter. Yeah. Yes, a counter. Yeah, also the blue card that Adam had uh, an approximate million off that made spells cheaper when you played them during yeah. your opponent's turn. Oh yep. yes, the Can't naiad. The, card's name. the naiad of the yeah, hidden cove. Naiad. naiad something or other. Something. <laughs> Tell me, I just <laughs> no scope that name. Maybe. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Is that Did it? Is, you is that the Nyad? It? I don't know. Paul's desperately looking for it. Oh, hey, oh you did it. Oh. Hidden coves. Z. So, so payoffs <laughs> for this color pair are like in blue. It's mostly value type things. Like when you play a spell on their turn, draw a card, or your spell's cheaper, or I like that this tap isn't something. just instants and sorceries. That's this is also fish. Yes. the two one fish, right? The taps. Yeah, yeah. The, all the flash things. This is also creatures or those enchantments with flash. Like the yeah. this makes the the omen of omen it's of the sea so good. like oh, one the omens. one mana. Yeah. 
And a oh, bit of a small sweet. segue before we move on to another color pair, but <laughs> uh, we talked about this yesterday during our match, but one of the most important cycles is uh, the Omen cycle. They're so good. Because I, I they're love these them. cards love enable so much. so much in the limited yeah. format. Yeah. So first you have a Constellation Trigger. You have a Flash spell for the blue-red archetype. Devotion. You have a Sack Outlet for it to fuel your escape mm -hmm. for later. Uh, you have Devotion. Mm -hmm. Did I miss anything? I don't think so. I mean, a and you, get, you get a scry. And you get a scry. Yeah. You also yeah. get an effect, but I mean, yeah. the card has to do something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> these these are definitely in the yeah. in the realm of it slices, it dices, it does yeah. everything. Like these. Oh, there's I a bunch love of effects in the format that are like cool in in the set that brings enchantments back from your graveyard, either directly into the battlefield or on top of your library, and especially uh, the archon of the the six mana four four flyer in white that, oh, that gets uh, cheaper. No, you can just bring back an enchantment from your graveyard di oh, right. directly into the battlefield. That seems very good with all the yeah, this one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, with all the the omens, where you can just like slam it back into the battlefield. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that that's seems sweet. that's that seems yeah. like a great card. Angry also, cow. that art is is wild. It's a flying yeah, cow. Yeah, it's pretty wild. Oh, Vic is that Victor? Yeah. Yep. Mm. Victor the goat. V. Yeah. <laughs> uh, did we get all the color? Pairs? No, no. I sorry. We didn't get red <laughs> no, white. Fine. Did, did red I miss anything white. except red white? Did I say everything else? You Did you do white black? No. no. I didn't okay. Do white, those are the two. Okay, those black. are the last two. Okay, so white black <laughs> is uh, putting negative auras on your opponent's stuff ah. and doing value type things with that. Like there's a card that gets back an aura and a creature from your graveyard to play. There's the hateful eidolon, which is mm. uh, whenever a thing with an aura dies, you draw a card, so you can put stuff on your opponent's stuff. I like. Then this when card. they die. Same. Because it's, I, I didn't realize it until like later that, that it's any exile. creature that. Dies. Yes. It sounds like whoa. Yeah, it's trying to enable the black-white color pair by playing auras on your opponent's stuff. Yeah. And another interesting pacifism variant that we have. I don't know the name of it. Sorry, but it's a three mana pacifism. Yeah, that's punishment. Cool. Yeah. Uh, Is that the one? Yeah. Isn't that apathy? No, it's uh, it's a common. This something discord. Because one I was played, the apathy one. It, um... We should probably look it up so I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay. But it has a. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, Dreadful Apathy. I think it's this there one, is. isn't it? Is this a, oh, okay, yeah, okay. So, or, oh, you were thinking so of the one that slow, that only works for four no, turns No, this something? is the one that I was talking about. Yeah. So okay. it, it doesn't work with Hateful Eidolon, but um, you can get this into your graveyard by paying the mana cost exiling the creature. Mm -hmm. So what this does is if you did it on an escape guy, mm -hmm. um, it's gone forever. Mm -hmm. And also That's now it's in sweet. your graveyard to get back with your stuff that gets back or it's yeah, done it. I like it a lot. <laughs> I also really liked the, while it's you know never great to give your opponent uh, choices, I liked the black aura that it enchants a creature and then the creature has the ability during your upkeep, sack a creature. So if if they want, they can just sacrifice that creature, the one with that aura mm -hmm. on it. I don't mm -hmm. recall what this is called. It's black, mm -hmm. it was two and a black. But if they have a very powerful creature that they don't want to get rid of, then they can sacrifice mm -hmm. other things instead. Though there's a lot of counters, so like maybe it's... Value. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe it's scary, but. <laughs> All right. So last but not least is uh, red white. Probably one of my favorites for draft. Uh, so in original Theros, we had heroic, yeah. mm -hmm. and it was a well liked mechanic. We wanted to bring it back in a different way because we didn't want to add another keyword to the set. We wanted some kind of callback to heroic. So what we have is uh, you can call it the hero ability because all of the cards that have this have hero in the name, like mm -hmm. this heroes of the revel here. Nice. And it's whenever amazing. you target this That's very cool. with a spell your entire team gets plus one, mm -hmm. plus zero. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the uh, hero cards, they enter the battlefield with tokens, like the one we just saw. The red-white one enters with a token. And we have, you know, auras for your stuff or combat tricks. Um, but one of my favorites, like one of the coolest ones that you can do is uh, wrap in flames. So you can target your hero and two of their guys to make them not block, and then you can pump your whole team. Oh, that's sweet. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Nice. that's real. I didn't think of didn't that. Even think that's of really, that. that's really clever. How many, Galaxy Brain. How many combat tricks are in the set? Because we we didn't open all of them. I don't think we've all looked at. I've seen a bunch. Things. I'm not totally sure. There's not, there's like usually there's uh, like one or two in both red and white. Like yeah. I know white has one that Karametra's blessing. It gives something yeah. indestructible. Yeah. Is it protection? From red, I yeah, believe, has infuriate. There's yeah. that also two mana one in oh, white that like pumps the team. Plus two. Plus oh yeah. Oh yeah. The, the the shields one. Yeah. Oh yeah. phalanx. Yeah. yeah. Something like Tactics that. Tactics or something. Yeah. Oh, and then there was the green like two mana giant growth or whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Plus yeah. three plus three. Okay. So there's quite a few. Yeah. That's cool. And I might I might try force that one day. 
That's true. Like yeah. like with the ones that pump and stuff like that. Yeah. So like yeah. I, actually yeah. There's quite like there a few. A yeah. Because when I saw the the red white stuff, I was like, okay, is there actually that many combat tricks in there? So mm -hmm. like in the sealed pools we were opening, we didn't really see any. Although we'd find like the hero guys, and so mm -hmm. this is good to know. Oh, or here's draft, another it could be cool. important one for the limited format: Indomitable Will. Mm -hmm. So combat oh. trick, constellation trigger, yep. and triggers your heroes. Nice. Yep. That, so that was keep one that one, one in mind. Oh, that's oh, cool. Wow. Nice. Ooh. This is a yep. a reprint from Champions of Kamigawa, <laughs> I believe. Really. Sweet. Huh. I love when they. I love when new sets are able to find. Yep. Like worthwhile homes mm -hmm. for very old cards yeah. that you, that you just don't remember, <coughs> right? Or that I don't. There remember. it is, good old hey. Look at huh. that. Ah, you may play it any time you could play an instant. Yep. Oh, oh yeah. Shorten that to flash. It, it flash. was a much different world back oh, then. Yeah. Yeah. But I remember joining well, the Japan set design and team and being like, "This set needs Indomitable Will." Yeah. And other people were like, "What's that?" <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, you see, it was this. Oh, uh, sweet sandwich. It was this." <laughs> old school combat trick from Champions of Kamigawa. It was not very strong, but in this set where yeah, you it works. where you have this a lot set, of synergy with really enchantments yeah. and playing stuff on your opponent's mm -hmm. turn and targeting your stuff, then it's really valuable. Yeah, this checks there's all the boxes. Too many flash auras in this set now, right? Um, there's also one in red. Mm -hmm. I believe it's a plus two plus zero, and it gets first strike until end of turn yeah. for three mana. Cool. So that's sweet. sweet. It's pretty decent. Mm. So we were talking aspect of Manticore, I see. Mm. Cool. So I, we were talking earlier, I primarily play limited. I, I play commander as well, but I don't really play most constructed formats. And uh, you wanted to talk, a couple people I think wanted to talk a little bit about yeah. some things they want to see happen, yeah. in, happen in constructed from this. What do you get? Yeah, you, you definitely want to go make Demir. I mean, Grixis. Grixis I'll start again. with Grixis, as yeah. I always do, and, and <laughs> usually back. I get beaten down by the format enough to know that it didn't work. But, no. but I, I will always try Grixis. I, that is one thing that I'm really excited for, because yeah. with Lazav. Um, and I, another thing I'm really excited to try is just seeing if the monocolor decks are like that. Yeah. We have Gary again. Yeah, that's awesome. We have all, all these, like, like it, it was so fun playing them. Like, the mono blue deck seems really sweet, because you have Thassa, and mm -hmm. then you have the, like, I don't know. I, this is kind of being cute, but, like, Verity Circle, you know, like, draw yeah. cards <laughs> off that. With Gadwick, Gadwick now makes, oh, like, is, up. like, triple blue, like, so that's a lot of devotion. There's just, there, there seems to be a lot of things that I, I want to try, and they're all yeah. going to be in mono color. Yeah, that's something I want to do too with them, um, because we've got the early access event for Theros coming up yes. this week. So, like, we get all the cards from Wizards. Thank you, Wizards. Yes. Um, and, like, that's what I want to try and make. I want to try and make Mono Black, because, you know, we've got the. Underworld Dreams. Yeah, just so yeah we've got Gary Underworld Dreams. We've got Gary. Things. We've got the, the Munchy Saki Dudes. Ayara. a thing. You yeah, Ayara. The Kitty Cat, the uh, Oven. Like, you can make something really, really solid with the new Black cards. Yeah, like I'm Mono Black, oven, oven, right? But then, like, I wanted to try it with Obnixilis also, because that's, like, another Underworld oh, Dreams. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, if you can yeah, yeah. stack under, like get the Underworld oh, Dreams of Nixilis, make your opponent draw a ton of cards. Or you can kill your own cat yes. and draw cards. Yes, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, Midnight Reaper. I yes. think there's a lot of value in black. That's going to be cool. And then Mono yeah. Green is what I want to try too. Nailu. With Renato with the Nyxborn mana dork. Oh, yeah, the <laughs> triple mana dork. That's like yeah, not yeah. a mana That is a mana that's, tree that's like, thing. That's like, <laughs> okay, ma a mega dork. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, so yes, obviously, of course, yeah. So, so that's gonna be sweet. I always love messing around with the monocolors first, and then going into the pairs, and then getting adventurous with the the three color decks. If you have Nylea, then you, you, you have EDH level plus that mana right with there. Nyssa that's and the, the ancient. Mana <laughs> yeah, the ancient. That, one, the that, that is more ancient. than a mana dork. By the way. <laughs> that Whoa. is a mega dork. Yeah, we can really call that a dork. <laughs> 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 hey, it's an elemental. It, another oh, thing. Oh, like you're just dork mana. Elementals just got more toys. Mana chunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll call, mana chunk. We'll call it that. Mana chunk. Nyx born ancient. Like this plus like Nylea makes it now. pretty sweet. Cause you, I think Nylea costs <laughs> three to activate to kind of do the. Uh, no, what is she doing? Nylea. I didn't even know. There's a. There's a. I think her activated ability, the new one, is just like three or four. Yeah, mana. I believe it's three. It's three. Yeah. So there you go. And you can kind of okay. like keep finding action with Nylea. Nice. This is why I've, I really like Nylea because it gives you like a mana sink, something to do. It's not like she needs yeah, to tap yeah. mm. to like make things happen. And when you have things that can make tons of mana, you can just keep like, keep yeah. just drawing cards. What do we it's do like, with all this mana? Yes, yeah. yes. And, you and can now play you a Hydroid to... Crisis. Yes. Yes. Yeah, there's even, a, you can go find your Hydroid Crisis. Like, yeah. wait, does it put in a play? Please don't. 
<laughs> yeah, put it into it your It definitely gamer. does not okay. put it into Plex. Okay, okay. Yeah, put, a, put a giant thing into Plex. Yeah. No, yikes. <laughs> like, yeah, you put know. it into your hand so you can go find a Hydroid Crisis. There's just a lot that I want to try to do, and it's weird because we have all these shock lands, and, you know, we've been playing, like, four, three to four color decks, yeah. and it's nice to, like, also try to dial it back. Oh, we got the temples now, too, which yeah. is sweet. Temples are back, all yeah. the final temples the are remaining in, so. temples. I also, while we have awesome. Nylea up, I wanted to mention, I really love, I said this on stream as well, but I love the way that the graphic designers melded the constellation yeah. frame with oh, the new beautiful. legendary frame. Actually, Ooh, yes. Yeah, uh, yes. So beautiful. Just with the little yes. shininess at the top. I, that's, also the that's alt really art nice. ones All the constellation the gods. Constellation. Oh, these are oh. gorgeous. Oh. Beautiful. Yeah, the showcase frames are gorgeous. I want but, this in foil. Uh, yeah, I wonder how this I looks foil. foil. <laughs> it looks they beautiful. They look so pretty. It's uh, oh, the beautiful. art. Mm -hmm. So the, there's ten of the showcase? There's the, the gods and the demigods? Demigods, yeah. That sounds about right. Yeah. yeah. That's all I've seen. Those are the only ones we more, saw yesterday. But I mean, we didn't no, I necessarily think, see all no, of them. No, I think that's correct. Okay. I am not the best person to ask about what are the showcase cards. <laughs> fair. That's fair. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, and a card that I'm really sad that we didn't get to see. I don't think. I don't know if anyone opened one in their pool. Uh, the three-headed doge. The, the legendary oh, Urza yep. one. Yes. Oh, yeah, the one that's... Legally that should have just Cerberus. had a Constellation Art because it's such a good, good, yeah. good, good dog. It's a good pupper. <laughs> Very it's good. Dog. Very yeah. good dog. But, yeah, like, that is a car There's that There's, like, I, no downside to that dog. It's so sweet. And it's, like, versatile graveyard hate. And, I mean, with a, if Escape... Well, the downside off. is you can't play your own graveyard... Uh, stuff, True. Right? Also, it but you can just so kill much. it. Yeah, yeah, look at it. Oh, yeah, but like that's Probably so perfect. Does other things too. It does yeah, a lot. But, a lot. But, <laughs> but only once. <laughs> it eats oh, a lot, fair. but it's only got one other. Okay, end. fair. <laughs> it's all still just a three mana, three three vigilant life link thing with menace. So and like, it's, it's also good my, against aggro. Yeah. Like, it's and it's cool. in my favorite color, so I'll yeah. be quite happy to play. Oh right, it stops things from escaping. Of course, that's. Yeah. Yeah. No escape. That's as, very as you know, good, right, Graham? I do love dog. preventing he, the escaping he's from He's guarding happening. the underworld. Or yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It also stops the cat. <laughs> yeah, and it, it stops the cat. And the I, cat. I love the flavor of that. The yeah, dog that's versus cool. cat. Oh, yeah. And, uh, right. Oh, right. That's where I have cat. to start yeah. opposing this card, because I, I like cats more than I like dogs. I love dogs. Dogs can be great. Don't get me wrong. Times. Cats are more than I should. Look, I love that cat, but it's been... It's been... It's too many lives now. It needs to stay dead. Also, I'm, like clicking through also, every cat. Also, there's a new best kitty, which is the lion that two men away. So. <laughs> what, the, the bronze hide? Yeah, the, the, the yeah, bronze hide yeah. lion. Yeah, good. very, very cool. So, I was excited just to be returning to Theros at mm -hmm. all, but after playing with the cards all day yesterday, I'm even more excited to, to dive into the yeah. set, both, oh, yeah. both oh, limited and drafting. constructed, and I'm I cannot Can wait it be for less it. than a week until we can play? I know, right? Yeah. I want it soon. <laughs> so, Give it to uh, me now. Th yeah, so that uh, that is going to do it for for us here. Um, thank you all for joining us for watching. Uh, please do check out our guests. Um, their details and such will be in the video description. And uh, thanks to Wizards <laughs> of the Coast for letting us do these pre-pre-releases. And we will talk to you at the next one. Bye, everybody. <laughs>